Hi everyone, it's Misty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I have a pretty simple card to share with you today. I made this for this week's Simon Says Stamp Wednesday Challenge. The challenge is Anything Goes and we are featuring products from Gina K Designs. So the most time consuming part of this card was just making the background and that wasn't even that time consuming. I'm going to start out on some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. And since I'm going to be stamping this several times, I'm going to use one of the magnets from the Creative Corners set uh, that coordinates with the Misty. So I'm just going to put that magnet down there in the corner and that way I can realign my paper if it somehow, you know, if it moves at all during this process. So I put some removable tape on the back of this and I'll line it up in that corner and then I'm going to go ahead and remove that magnet. And this is helpful because then my entire, my entire card stock will be covered with the stamp. Sometimes when you put it right up against the corner, uh, the edges don't get a very good impression. So now I'm going to use several different uh, colors from Simon Says Stamp and I'm going to make myself a nice little rainbow background. So I'm going to start out with some teeny bikini and then I'll move on to melon, jelly bean, spring rain, and hot mama all the colors you see at the top of the screen. Some of them I'm gonna stamp twice, just to get a nice bold color, a better impression. Lining it up was, uh, I had to keep counting how many <laughs> lines I went over, just kept losing track. But I really like all these colors together. It seems like they go really well together. My goal was to try to get only four lines colored and then maybe a little bit of another line so it would blend in with the next color. I tell you though, this Misty was a game changer. I, I couldn't imagine doing this without a Misty. Well, I guess you'd have to put all the color on at once. Maybe. I, I know I'd still mess it up. I am very, very grateful for my, my Misties. They came out about the same time I started making cards, so it worked out perfect for me. If there's any seasoned stampers out there, they're probably laughing at what a rookie I am. But that's okay, I laugh at myself too. All right, I'll spare you the whole coloring process here and just show you the final product. I love how it turned out. I'm just taking a rag and I'm gonna wipe off that color out of my Misty and then remove any of that adhesive that might have stuck to the back there. Look at that, I love it. I love how this turned out. These colors are gorgeous. Now I'm gonna use this new to me die. It's by Sizzix and Tim Holtz. It's called Stacked Decal. And I thought it was really cool. I don't have any dies that have an edge like this and I thought it would coordinate nicely with this Hugs die by Gina K Designs. And I'm gonna layer up that Hugs a few times. But first I had to make sure it was gonna fit in my little sidekick here. I was trying to use up this piece of scrap paper. I didn't wanna do it uh, vertically. I was trying to do it horizontally so I could uh, cut it a few times. I just barely made it. I think the last one, is this the last one? Yeah, I didn't quite cut the, the end off there so I'm just gonna snip it out with my scissors. This is such a pretty font to this die. I really like it. I'm gonna use my Nuvo Smooth Precision glue pen to glue these together. And I always get all kinds of glue on my glass mat, so I'm trying to start putting a piece of cardstock behind it. And I'm just gonna do dots along the whole word. I didn't want it oozing out the sides if I could avoid it. These glue pens are really nice for word dies like this. It just, you know, it, it just, I don't know, you, you have a couple seconds to line it up. It doesn't stick right away, which is nice. And if you do just the dots like I do so that you don't get too much glue on there, it's the perfect amount. I like using spray ad adhesive sometimes too. Okay, so I'm just removing that uh, removable tape. It's so nice, because all you gotta do is rub it with your finger and it rubs right off. But um, 
was I saying? Oh, spray adhesives. Yeah, spray adhesives are good for word dyes too. But sometimes I have a hard time if I need to, if I stick it together and it didn't line it up, I have a hard time um, getting it apart, especially when the in between the letters are thin like this hugs die is. So the glue pan was perfect. I cut this down to four by five and a quarter. I'm just gluing it down to my top folding card base. I wanted to give it a nice white border to kind of match the the white between the colored lines. I just really wanted a, a simple card. This would look really cute uh, vertically too. I'm trying to decide, trying to decide now if I should pop it up on craft foam and of course I should. You should always have some type of dimension on your cards. At least I like to. So I just took a piece out of my scrap drawer and I'm cutting it down to size. Speaking of scrap drawer, you know, I think I am going to do a separate video. I, I just recently did a craft room tour, my very first craft room tour video, which I'll put a link to up in the top right. But um, I didn't have time to go over my drawers, so I'm going to do a video and just go over what's in my drawers. It's not much, but I've had a couple people request it, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, hopefully towards the end of the week. I'm using some score tape on my craft foam. It's my favorite tape to use with craft foam. And I'm just going to stick it to the back of my little, my little banner here. I don't know what it's called. My little sign. No, my little frame. That's what it is. My little frame. Right? I don't know. You know what I mean? The gray part. And then to add a little extra sparkle, since I don't really have any yet, I'm going to go over it with my Nouveau glitter pen. Shimmer glitter pen, I think is what it's called. Then I'm going to pull out my uh, scrap cardstock again and my glue pen and go over it with little dots again. It just adds the perfect amount of glue. I was kind of bummed. I should have quit fidg fidgeting with it because I, I put it down and then I was trying to just bump it up a little bit, but it, I nudged it a little too much and yeah. So you can see a little bit of where the glue is. I'm not using the um, multimedia matte glue, which is what I would have been nice to use if I wasn't using the glue pen because it's a little bit I don't know, it's a little bit shiny, but it's not too bad. You can just see where it nudged a little bit. But it's it's the little things like that that kind of drive me nuts. And then just to add a little embellishment and a little sparkle, I'm going to add some of these jewels by Pretty Pink Posh. They're called Metallic Silver Jewels, and they are my favorite embellishment right now. But see, this card's just... It's, it was a simple card. I was trying to go for a simple card this week. Yes, you saw my little candy, my sneak attack of the candy. I always got to have candy on hand. That's horrible. I should have apples or bananas or something healthy. Nope, I got Mike and Ike's. Now I'm using uh, my glue pen and in my, I mean, not my glue pen, my syringe, glue syringe. I have the uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive in the syringe. But that just gives me a little something extra to look at. I think it was a little too simple without them. And it still just wasn't quite enough for me, so... I decided to go over, and if I would have thought this out, I would have done this part before I glued it to my little gray frame here. But this is the Crystal Glaze by Nuvo, and I just wanted the uh, whole word to be shiny. 
The only problem with that is, I don't know if it's just because it was white cardstock, but you know, I use the Nouveau glitter pen underneath it and kind of lost its sparkle when I put that on. I mean, it's still shiny because it's glossy, but uh, you can't really see any of that, that glitter pen anymore, but that's okay. I'm still happy with it. All right, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. All of the supplies that I used are listed and linked in the description below. And I'll also have it over on my blog with additional pictures and how to enter the Simon Says Stamp Wednesday challenge if you're interested in that. If you like what you saw, please click on that like button and let me know that you liked it. And if you wanna see more of my videos, I welcome you to click on the subscribe button, but be sure to click on the little bell icon too so that you'll be notified when I post a new video, which is every Wednesday. You'll find two additional videos on screen right now that I thought you might be interested in. If you click on it, it'll take you directly to that video. And that's it. I will see you next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.